Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, you uh, walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Woo. Walk it like I talk it. You yeah. walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Well, go on, you guys. I just finished this makeup look. Oh my god. I was supposed to. Alright. My thing was that I plan to go out like what? 6 o'clock? No, it's 8 o'clock. <laughs> uh, I was supposed to do this like quick makeup tutorial, but at the same time, I want it to like look good. Like, you can actually see like my best of my abilities. Like, no law. Hey, like. You know I don't have that skill but at the same time I can do a little ting ting you know I can do a little ting ting look at the ting from my channel where I can say all right look 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 pop me go on yanny go on you know but anyways like I hope you like this look if you actually like this look you guys just just keep on watching man keep on watching before me have to choke a bitch if you actually like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the girl okay sub so, my try glow up my try glow up so subscribe to the girl show your support and keep on watching and i see you in the next video bye well gone you guys I, i'm here with another video my fedora voice over okay uh so let's get it started as you can see i am actually doing my eyebrows and this time i am not using my anastasia beverly Hills paint pot i'm actually using kaboom from benefit cosmetics and this is in the color number five brow gel and i used a little spoolie with it however that didn't last so right now i am just gonna take my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo um, Concealer and just clean up my brow. So afterwards, I'm just blending it out with the Real Technique sponge, $5, you better go get it. And, and I'm going to use my paint pot to start priming my eyes for this eyeshadow look I'm doing, okay? So I'm showing you right here my Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte and I'm just going to use that as my base color. Starting off with that corner color that I just showed you. I'm just going to put that all over my lid and just blend it that all out. out my Nubian 2 palette here I am just using this orange color that I used just to start off as my crease color and I'm just going to blend that all throughout my crease yeah watch me do my magic okay homie Morphe M573 brush and I'm just gonna go back into my Tartis palette and that same brown color I'm using over the orange just to darken the crease because I'm trying to go for a cut crease this is my second cut crease so don't drag me you guys I don't really know how to do cut crease At this moment, I am actually taking my Morphe flat brush and I'm doing my cut crease. And yeah, I'm just trying to create that cut crease for you guys. But the 
trick is to when you're doing a cut crease is actually cleaning up your area that you kind of missed so right here I'm just going back into that Tease palette with that brown shade and going back to the orange shade in my Juvia's Place palette and I'm cleaning just up that area So here I'm going into my Galaxy palette from BH Cosmetic and I'm just going to use that, I think that was Jupiter and I'm just going to use that to put a little pink on the cut crease light shade. Yeah. And I'm going with my Tarte uh, eyeliner. I love this eyeliner today. This is my only one that I really use. I'm just going to create my line because basically that's it. It's supposed to be nice and simple before I go to my face and beat it up. Okay? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, don't ask me why I was putting on concealer first before I started to put on my foundation. However, I think I was cleaning it up. This is my Fenty Beauty foundation. Bought it in the winter time and it turns out too light. So I'm gonna look like a ghost face, but don't worry, I corrected that. Um, so you can see I'm just putting that all over my face and then taking my same sponge that I did blending my whole face out as you can see ghost face killer for real So here you can see I'm showing you my MAC Pro Concealer and NC50 which is darker than me so it's blending out with the Fenty nice and perfect to match my actual color and yeah that's how I corrected it And here I'm just taking my Max Switch chocolate to carve out them cheekbones and forehead. And do some nice contour on my nose. Yeah, I gotta get that nose snatched, honey, okay? Now on to highlights, I'm using my MAC Skin Finish um, Highlight. I will put the name in the description bar. Yeah, but I just need to get those cheeks glowing and we are almost to the end. That's why I'm dancing, you guys. Yes, and that is it you guys I just did my eyelash off camera and here I'm just giving you a little pose I just take down my hair and yeah I just laid my wig well, that's basically it if you actually like this video please subscribe to your girl like comment and share my video and I see you in the next one thanks for watching